Television star Rosie O'Donnell's gay family's cruise ship tied up in Halifax this morning and 10 couples headed straight to the altar. The stopover in Nova Scotia was a chance for same-sex couples to do what most couldn't do legally in their home communities. Global's Craig Ferguson has that story. You may now kiss your wife. This is what Dafina Priel and Leslie Hebb will remember about their trip to Halifax, their wedding. Well, it was important because it was for us, basically. Uh, we've always been married in the eyes of our family and friends. They can't wed in their home state, New Jersey. Gay marriage isn't legal there. Ten American couples got married at Pier 21 today. They arrived on a cruise ship chartered for gay couples and their children by entertainer Rosie O'Donnell. She got the red carpet treatment when she arrived at Citadel Hill for a meeting with the mayor. She says the welcome is a lot warmer than when the cruise ship stopped off in the Bahamas last year. And there were three churches, Baptist churches, and uh, preachers out there, you know, in the morning with little children getting off to go to the screaming, you know, you're going to rot in hell. O'Donnell says Canada could make a lot of money marketing to gay family tours. There's something very powerful about a nation welcoming and embracing you that I think people are drawn to, including me. You know. Halifax's mayor says he's not ready to market the city as a destination for marriage-minded gay couples. But he says the so-called pink dollar is welcome here. You're welcome. We want you to be part our, uh, of our municipality. Uh, please explore every... Uh, aspect, or, or in restaurants, or um, venues, have a good time when you're here. Vendors on the waterfront were glad to see the visitors. It's great. I mean, it, it brings more people to the waterfront. I mean, our tourism's going down as is right now, so bringing more people out, it's great. Rosie Adano hopes to make Halifax a regular stop on the cruise. When the ship leaves Halifax Harbor tonight, it'll be headed to Massachusetts. That's one of the few states in the U.S. to recognize same-sex unions. In Halifax, this is Global's Craig Ferguson reporting.